Greetings everybody, I appreciate you joining me here in this research field outside of Bradshaw, Nebraska. You know, this year has been stressful to say the least. I know a lot of folks are really looking forward to getting the crop out of the field here in the next couple weeks, get it in the bin and put 2020 behind us. Unfortunately, there's still some work to do. And so while I have you joining me here in this research block, this corn is probably two or three weeks away from harvest yet. It's uh, the end of September almost. Uh, but that's not why I brought you out here. Um, I wanted to show you some things I'm noticing around this test block, and that is the emergence of various perennial and winter annual wheat species. We've got chickweed, we've got mare's tail, we've got dandelion all starting to come out, and that is gonna have a significant impact on our planting season for 2021. You know, we're, our, you know, many of us are aware that those winter annuals, those perennials that come up in the fall or early spring, you know, they can be a host to soybean cyst nematodes, they can harbor insects and diseases. Um, if we have a really heavy population of weeds, um, that can lead to uh, cooler soils and not being able to dry out in time to plant. And so we realize the importance of burn down applications. Now, your average Joe might think, well, I'm just gonna go out there in the spring, I'll hit it with some 2,4-D and some glyphosate and we'll call it a day. Unfortunately, a lot of university research shows that's not the best way to control a lot of these weed species, especially when it comes to mare's tail. Um, and so if we're holding off until the spring, when our weather is very variable, um, potentially a lot of wet conditions, sometimes we get a really warm early spring, in which case we get aggressive growth, um, and then it's really hard for us to control those weed species once they get past a certain size. Uh, but conversely, we can also have a very cool spring. Um, and that's gonna slow bicipital oxen transport. Um, it's gonna slow metabolism. And so well, with a lot of our systemic products like uh, 2,4-D or glyphosate, um, they're not gonna be as effective or work as fast. Like I was uh, discussing earlier, um, this corn is a ways away from harvest, but we've already got weeds emerging that are gonna give us trouble in 2021. Um, you can look along the ground here and see a number of young mare's tail rosettes uh, starting to emerge. And they're probably gonna overwinter uh, at a size not much bigger than this. But once they start to bolt in the spring, they're gonna take off very quickly. Um, and controlling them with either an oxen or a glyphosate or a, a gamoxone product is gonna be very difficult moving forward. And so what FMC has done is tried to really build a portfolio where guys can get an effective fall or spring burn down program to get those weeds uh, put to bed. And so, uh, one of the first additions I'd like to mention um, are two different products is AIM and Panaflex. Um, AIM is a group 14 uh, carfentrazone, and basically it is a very effective low cost tank mix partner with pretty much any burn down program you could currently have. Um, it works great to supplement a lot of those auxins, whether it be 2,4-D dicamba, um, because what it's gonna do is help promote activity, speed of activity uh, during those cooler conditions. Um, and with a low use rate and a really great formulation, it's something that we can be very effective on uh, burning out some of these younger uh, small weed species if we get on it early. Um, Panaflex is a uh, two um, active ingredient ALS inhibitor, and it's extremely uh, effective on our dandelions, on our chickweeds. Um, again, a very inexpensive addition to help uh, supplement um, some of our burn down programs to get a little bit more activity. Now, what we always recommend is having a residual component. There was a study done uh, by Purdue um, a couple years back showing how a fall residual program is the best method of controlling um, a lot of uh, mare's tail later on the season. And the same is true for a study conducted by Colorado State um, in which we're looking at kochia control. In every scenario we look at, sulfentrazone is one of the best residual products that you can use for that situation. Whether it be a Spartan Charge, which is basically a sulfentrazone plus that AIM component, or if we want to look at, say, an Authority XL or an Authority First um, in order to get another Group 2 herbicide down with that um, Spartan in order to pick up, you know, cockleburrs, early, early emerging ragweeds, um, or mare's tail. And so we have a lot of options. The key is to know your weed densities, um, know the weed species, um, reach out to an FMC representative so that we can help you uh, build that residual program. And let's start 2021 off on a good foot. So as always, you can reach out to me or any other FMC representative. We're happy to help. Thank you.